His name is Robert Paulson. 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 What? His name is Robert Paulson. Yeah. Now, part two. T. Here's the T. T for tunes. Yes. The continuation. What it means to be an internet personality. Now, I want you all to take this with a grain of salt because clearly, uh, again, there are many more reviewers out there that have a lot more, have accumulated a lot more uh, subscribers than I have. And again, want to be perfectly transparent about the fact that I am wholeheartedly uh, so happy about how many I've got. And that's never been my uh, end all be all. That being said, I have had my uh, stumbles throughout these years with basically learning how to interact and how to be the face of something. Um, and it's been a very interesting uh, time because there was moments throughout that journey where I was incredibly blunt, um, incredibly full of testosterone. And for some reason or another, you know, I, I would let the negativity somehow uh, take the limelight over the positivity, you know, for every, it could have been 99 positive comments and then one negative comment would ruin my day or whatever. So let's talk about that. As an internet personality, you 110% need thick skin, okay? You need thick skin. You have to have it. If you let haters take over your, your mental space of, of positivity and happiness, this is just gonna become a chore for you and you're gonna end up hating it. Like, believe me when I tell you, people can be awful. But just remember that these people that are being awful to you are really probably very unhappy themselves, for one. And for two, you don't know them, so who gives a fuck anyways? They don't know you, you don't know them, it doesn't really matter what they think. And lastly, uh, they're behind the keyboard lashing out, but if they saw you in person, they probably wouldn't behave that way. So just keep in mind that all those things combined as a whole should just brush it off because it doesn't even matter. It's, it's as if, you know, I was in a class or on the street and somebody said, hey, whack beard. I, and, I mean, I'm glad that you feel that way. I, love my beard. I don't give a single flying poo-poo. Not a single poo-poo. I just know far too many people, reviewers, friends, etc., that let this impact them, that negativity, um, impact them in such a way that they bring it home with them, that they, they gossip about people. They, they carry this weight of the world on their shoulders because they just think that all these people are out to get them and it turns into like a fucking conspiracy theory about how everybody just hates them so much. It's just not true. No one cares about you that much, first of all. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, no one cares about you enough to wear, <laughs> via your fragrance review, um, to talk about you that poorly on a regular basis. So let that sink in. And then just remember that we're a niche within a niche in this community on YouTube, on this platform and we're such a small amount, a small percentage of the YouTube platform that uh, when we get up in arms about stupid things like, hey, Aventus sucks. Yeah, you heard me. Aventus sucks. Aventus doesn't really suck. I'm not particularly fond of it. Watch how that's gonna kickstart someone hating me down in the comment section. But yeah, like, I don't like Aventus all that much. The secret's out. There, Aventus is king. Watch the reaction that's gonna get. It's gonna be hilarious. I, I thrive off of it, I think it's hilarious. Joey Canoli and I were talking about how we love uh, instigating. <laughs> and because, you know, this whole thing is about opinions. Nobody's actually some trained pep fume. So if you're not, then like just shut the fuck up and sit down. Bye. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. And believe me when I tell you, it's much like Hell's Kitchen with Gordon Ramsay, where like, you know, one day you're suddenly feeling like you're on top of the world. He loves you. He's telling you you're doing a great job. And then the next day he's like, you fucking twat, bleh! Yeah, that's exactly what it's like in the comment section for your reviews. So Hell's Kitchen is a perfect analogy for how this whole thing works. Again, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. 
And last but not least, I just want all of you to know how much I love every one of you. All of you that support me. All of you that don't support me. It's fine. I love myself. I love doing this. I love doing this so much that it just doesn't, it rolls off my back. But there are some people that have a really hard time with it. And I just don't want that to get you down. I want you to go into it thinking and knowing um, that this is all about you. This is about you. This is about you feeling good about something. Like you're contributing to a positive atmosphere. Because for the most part, you know, even though there's some crappy things that go on in this whole internet thing um, and in this community, for the most part, there's some pretty awesome people. I can't tell you how many great people I talk to on a very regular basis because of this whole hobby. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful that I came in at the time I did when the community was much smaller, like Mark put it, like a village. And we all got to know each other pretty pretty well, actually, I think. So that being said, just do what you do. Be positive about it. Um, let the haters fuck off into oblivion and just do your own thing. Be happy with you know, the, the, the end product that you put out on your platform. Be happy with the relationships you form. And that's all this is about. That's all this is about. All right, all right, all right. That wasn't even close to a Matthew McConaughey impersonation. Not even close. Just be happy with it. And uh, I, I hope you all maybe feel a little bit better or took something from this video. You know, I know I like to ramble on and rant and swear and carry on like a jerk sometimes. But that's just who I am. I, I can't help myself. So um, I'm very opinionated and I love pushing this kind of content out there. So thanks, Mark, for kind of putting the idea in my head. And uh, uh, Mark, again, one of my absolute favorite people on this platform. Love Mark. Kickstarted my passion for this. That's why he, he was just talking in his video, too, about how he didn't understand why he got so much praise from Joy. Because, dude, like, you created so much passion for so many people. And whether you like it or not, you know, you've, you've helped people in a very positive light and, you know, I, I'm forever grateful for that. So thank you, Mark. I appreciate you. Um, and basically, for people that are coming into this, um, just just be happy with it. No matter what you're doing, just be happy with it. And I hope we all can get along. And in the near future, things kind of simmer down. It won't. It probably won't, you know. <laughs> but one could be positive. So I hope you all enjoyed. I'll talk to you all later. This has been another Tunes Chat. All right.